Princess Daisy, the energetic Cerisal and Princess, has become one of the most discussed Super Mario characters in recent years. Yeah! She was first introduced in 1989, in Super Mario Land, for the Game Boy. Yahoo! She differentiated from her fellow princess, Peach Toadstool, with her tomboy personality and affinity for flowers. She still felt familiar to the pink-dressed royalty, especially visually, and even her first role, with Mario having to rescue her from an alien in Super Mario Land. Princess Daisy! You are in the beam! Ugh! Therefore, for a time, she was seen as a character clone, a palette swap princess if you will. However, much like Luigi, who started off similar in numerous ways to his brother, Mario, Daisy eventually grew into her own, starting in 2000, an 11 year hiatus, with her very first playable appearance in Mario Tennis for the Nintendo 64. Sporting a more distinct personality and unique appearance, Daisy was more proactive and energetic than the polite and reserved Princess Peach. Ha! I'm the winner! For many fans, this was likely their first time seeing her. Thus begins her career in over 50 games, many of them side games, earning her the nickname the Queen of Spin-Offs. Daisy's character and appearance gradually changed and refined in the Mario Sports titles. Uh -huh, yeah! Here comes Daisy! as well as the Mario Kart and Mario Party series. Mario Kart Wii also introduced a variation of Daisy which first originated with the Mario Brothers, a baby version of herself. These games show Daisy as a cheerful and spunky princess, who is more than willing to get in the heat of the game she takes part in and has a competitive streak to match. That's right! <laughs> to this day, she has still yet to appear in a mainline Super Mario adventure, but she comfortably remains a stable character to see in the most recent Mario Kart and Mario Party games. Though she, along with many other of Mario's friends, has been slowly making their way even in two more impressive titles. Huh? Sweet! Some expected. And others, not so much. Just last year, in Super Mario Maker, Daisy appeared as a costume Mario can wear, allowing fans to finally make their own adventures with the princess. Cool. Provided they don't lose the power up for the level. She has not yet been forgotten, especially by her dedicated fans, who are working hard to spread the word, to give their character a better role, a greater chance to show who she is and what she can do. A role in the next main series of games? Perhaps. A game of her own? Yeah! A possibility. Whatever happens, Daisy and her fans press on with the energy and cheerful attitude of the princess herself.